Thanks, Rick. Sure, believe me, I haven't stolen nothing. Another 20 lashes for that lie. What money I have would pay me for lifting a curse off a man's head. You presume to have that power? Ha! The power of prayer is infinite, Great Wazir, and I pray exceedingly well. Send men to his home. Bring me all who are there, all his confederates. No, no, there's no one at home, nothing at all. No one but a wretched half my daughter. I'll do Cry for voice. Oh, but please, she has done no wrong. We have lost touch the soft spot. Go, we are on the trail. Hurry! Where is your home? Execute the sentence. May Allah curse you. May calamity strike you. May disaster overwhelm you. A curse on your head. A curse on the hands of our dear police. Exalted Wazir, we have captured Jawan. It's the robber and brigand, the assassin. We've caught him at last. Sort. Take him to the dungeons and dispose of him. No! I think I'll keep the big one, though. <laughs> but I am your father! All the more reason to be rid of you. For the leading judge of Mesopotamia <laughs> to have a father who is the leading thief of Mesopotamia. Well, it's a disturbing thought. Oh, but let me hear something for my son's lips on the sentence. Death. If you were a true father, you would be proud of my integrity. Oh, Take one word, just one word from Ali, my little Ali. Goodbye. Oh, no, no. Never have I seen a more touching reconciliation. We can use this man. Yes, yes, I rather think so. Wait, oh, what an idiot I am. Of course the man's a fraud. Did he not place a curse on my head with all the venom he could summon? What became of that curse, swine? The holy, the good, the wise, the just, the omnipotent, the commander of the faithful, Manon al-Rashid ben Mohammed ibn Katimon, the Caliph. <laughs> Even the walls of my chambers rejoice at the all highest presence. Your caliph rejoices in the tidings he brings. He is pleased to notify his wazir that he has chosen a bride. <laughs> now see that the proper proclamations are made and inform all the embassies that their caliphs for the, their candidates for the caliph's hand may return to their home. <laughs> may every citizen rejoice in the caliph's happiness. <laughs> Utterly, gracelessly ruined! Why? Why? Why should I be so accursed? Who could have put such a curse on me? Who could? <gasps> you! 
It is you who have done this. Oh, no, no, no. I reverse my decision in the case of Lars the Beggar. I restore all your property. And come now, let us settle the terms. I believe a hundred pieces of gold was the price you were paid for your services to my deplorable parent. Noble Wazir, my powers are depleted. Look how much I've already done in one day. You must see I can do no more. Not even if we raise you to the rank of Emir. Emir? Me, an Emir? A loom, an Emir is second in power only to me. Oh, don't haggle with the wizard. He may turn you into something worse than you already are. <laughs> You will be Hajj, Emir of Baghdad, if you can prevent the Caliph's marriage. Prevent? You are too kind. It is overwhelming. What a day. Oh, how could one possibly refuse such an offer? And yet how in the world can one accept it? You can't doubt your power. Oh, indeed I can. In fact, each time it functions, I am more and more astonished. <laughs> but it does function. I have seen it. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Well, then, noble wazir, I accept your offer. Done! Ha! Your exalted excellency, a committee of creditors awaits you. Creditors? Ha! A minute ago, that would have worried me. Come here. You've done. You're no more magician than I am. The wazir will drop you from a battle and onto a hook when he discovers your fraud. Then may I make a suggestion? Let's not tell him. He doesn't need to be told. From all the moment the police marries. Well, you see, love is the most uncertain business. If the police changes his mind, or if they have a quarrel like young lovers do, well then, I am Amir. If not, well, that is kismet. And you'd risk your life at such a slim chance? Princess, I have risked floggings for a handful of dates. I have courted the executioner to steal my dinner. I have lived with fear too long and for too little. Let her terrify me now when the stakes are so great. I despise recklessness, but I find myself admiring you. Princess, I do too. I have always had a weakness for scoundrels. We are well mad. What kind of sentence did he get? <laughs> there he is, my fine and expensive harem. Is your near to be? They want to know you, maker of curses. Your power is fascinating. Oh, my don't be afraid. Enjoy yourself. Take one, take two. The supply is practically inexhaustible. <laughs> at your tanglesome skeins, and daily spins the tapestry of agony and joy that mortals call the history of man. Cup thy ear to hugs the beggar. Shabba, shabba. For humans we, suspended between abyss and infinity, lost in the shadows of yesterdays, ensnared in the labyrinth of tomorrows. Help us, help us. Below and above, and in the swirling darkness of the infinity of mind and matter, there is a plan that only thou can see and only thou control. We ask then that from the woof and warp of time yet unborn, the marriage of our caliph be noiselessly extracted. 
remove our caliph's love from this woman or remove the woman from our caliph. It is thy choice. Go from Mendel. Baphomet. Blight and blast our caliph's love. Twice as day as thou seen. The bishop of Grand Horatio. 